I feel like everyone can relate with like the different YouTube phases you go through, whether you love watching vlogs, ASMR, mukbangs, mukbangs, I still don't fully know how to say that. I have been loving people's like Amazon hauls or just like online shopping hauls and unboxing. I don't think I filmed like a random haul since honestly like 2015 or something. So I figured it was time and I'm gonna film. I'm just gonna show you what is below you right now, below the camera. I'm not proud of it. I'm excited. I would be lying if I said I wasn't excited, but I really am a mixture of disgusted in myself, shocked at myself, kind of impressed as well because I really think about every single purchase all the time, which is sometimes negative because I'm still not finished designing our house. I put things in my cart and I dwell on them and that's all I do. I just dwell on them and I never check out. Lockdown has been the months of checkout. So I don't even know what is in these boxes. I honestly forget. So I think we can just do a lucky dip and just start wherever. Okay, this one is from Life Interiors. I bought a lot of homeware stuff. I don't even remember what I bought. This is so exciting. This is like Christmas because I don't even... <gasps> yes, I remember. This first item is obviously a homewares piece. It's a vase from Life Interiors. I believe it came in two different colors. It came in this like mustard paint or pink paint. Look, I'm sure this is very underwhelming for some of you, but I love homewares and I just wanted to fill the house with like vases that complement our style, but are a little bit more unique. We have a lot of white and terracotta, pink and blush, but I wanted something that had like a pattern on it and yeah, was more unique. Something that you would walk into someone's house and go, ooh, that's a bit fancy. Okay. Hey, lucky dip number two. This is from the Iconic. I had no idea the Iconic sell supplements and skincare instead of going out to brunch with my friends or instead of going out to coffee. I've just been loving skincare even more and like playing with new skincare tools or products. So I'm really hoping this is what I think it is. Whoa. Oh yes, yes, yes. What? Oh no. I need to check my receipt. I think I bought two of the same thing. Knowing me, like I said, I just put things in my cart and I leave them there. And the thing with the Iconic, you should remember, if you put something in your cart, your cookies, like your iPhone or your internet, remembers it and it never clears your cart. So I think I put this in my cart like six months ago and then I ended up buying a new one in the store. And then I put a new one in there like two weeks ago. And then I bought a jade one. Ooh, these come in a cute little like velvet pouch. Beautiful. It is darker than I thought, but I know with like a lot of quartz and like natural stones, obviously there's differentiation in the color because they are natural. So I'm excited to use this one because it's a different shape than the rose quartz. You can use this one as like a body massager and a body gua sha because of the bumps. You guys know I'm obsessed with gua sha, so I could honestly have like 20 and still want more. It's like my hobby. So I bought three of those. Okay, let's move on to some clothes. This delivery was from White Fox Boutique. Are we shocked? Not really. I've been loving their new stuff. They're reading the room of a lot of Australia right now and everyone is loving loungewear. Like a lot of people like myself were in lockdown and I... <laughs> I don't know why I'm in jeans. Honestly, I think I'm just trying to impress you because I have not worn jeans yet in like eight or nine weeks. I don't know, comment below. What week of lockdown am I in? I have no idea. So this is from White Fox Boutique and yeah, not gonna lie, I already opened one of the packages because there was this one jumper that you guys would have seen because I've been honestly wearing it every single day that I really wanted to wear and I couldn't wait. I'm not sure what this is called. I'll put it on the screen. I have been loving this jumper. I honestly think it's my new fave. And then I also got a light gray one, which I really need to put in the wash but I kept it out for the purpose of this video. It's just a really beautiful light grey marl with a white embossed white fox logo which I thought was really cool. But some stuff that I haven't opened I've been waiting to open in front of you. What's this one called? Less Conversation Knit. What colour is this called? Okay they call it beige but I would call it like a cool beige like almost like a gray beige and I actually don't own any knit that is in this V. I'll try everything on so over the top of me talking you guys can see it in person because I know it's really hard to like see what it's gonna look like when I just hold it up like this but I love the V front <gasps> also good timing for this I just remembered currently as we speak White Fox have a huge 25% off sale obviously this excludes the products already on sale and collaboration products but site-wide 25% off you can use my code Sarah and it ends on the 22nd of August at 
midnight. I believe you have two days to get the 25% off. But yeah, use my code Sarah for 25% off. I believe all of this stuff is still live, but keep in mind when White Fox do a sale, everything goes really quickly. So actually let's move on to one of my favorite things that you guys have been loving. These ones aren't necessarily new to me, but you guys are always asking about these when I wear them on my Insta stories. These were the sunglasses we used for our active wear shoot. I'll put a photo up here. But yeah, I've been wearing these as like my go-to sunglasses and I've picked some new ones that I haven't opened yet. I think they'll be good for an Instagram photo, but again, I kind of have to get creative because I'm in lockdown so I can really only take photos inside. I don't know, like I saw them on the website and like the girl and it looked so cool but I just like can I pull them off they're so cool but I don't know if I'm cool enough you know I don't know like these ones 100% like we love her these ones I just really need to embrace and embody hashtag at confident and no one will question you moving on to something I'm really excited to try on I love any kind of like button-down shirt whether it's like linen or stripes I just think they look really cool and casual but still sophisticated because of the buttons and this one is in a white corduroy if there's one item in this white fox haul that is so me it's this one. Okay, while I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of the white shirt, I think I'm going to wear these black pants the most. Flares are just the way of the future slash the past. I love the front of these on the model. I will confirm once I've tried them on. They looked so flattering. Like, I love that you can make them tighter because that is one issue I have with a lot of my flares. They fit my butt and my legs, but around my waist, they're a bit too big. So I like that you can make these ones tighter. Then I also got them in this chocolate color. Like I said, I'm just loving earth tones. I would even wear this together like with this cream and this chocolate anything earthy together I think it looks really sophisticated and beautiful love this color as well oh my gosh I have so much like what is wrong with me <laughs> strangely enough I went through a phase sorry ASMR comment below do you hate that sound or do you love that sound like I know ASMR is very particular and like people have their preferences of what they like to hear like You guys may have seen like four vlogs ago. I got this one in the green. I still think I prefer the green because it's a bit more unique. I wanted to get it in the gray as well just because I've worn the green so much. Honestly, I could go on and on with how many clothes I bought. I don't know whether to stop because I'm embarrassed. I'll show you one more. I also ended up getting this matching tracksuit. I will be so sad the day that matching tracksuits go out of style. Like I'm just hoping they never do. And they just keep evolving. Like in the 90s, in the early 2000s, it was all about like the Juicy Couture tracksuits. Now it's about like the oversized tracksuits. I hope we keep evolving because if they ever die, I may die too. They're just so easy to work out your outfit in the morning when you can't be bothered to think about it. And if the motif collection is still there when the sale is on, I highly recommend looking at that. I think it is my favorite collection of white foxes probably ever. I've been wearing, I don't know what color it is, it's like these green flares and even both of the dresses, the lime green dress and the cream dress. If that is still available and you can get 25% off that, from me to you, get it. Okay, moving on, let's do some skincare. Again, I have to be really honest, I got way too excited for this one and I, I opened it. So at least I can give you a little review if I like it or not, but I love all three. I wanted my face to be a little more tanned and glowy, but I'm so particular with what I put on my skin, but especially my face because I do have acne prone skin. I rely heavily on reviews, but I swear I read every single review. I watched a bunch of YouTube reviews on this as well. Everything I read, everyone loved it, and I would vouch that I love it too. It is such a great face tanner. It comes out like a water. I probably put like a 20 cent piece max amount on my hand, rub my hands together and put it on my skin and it develops overnight. Because it's so gradual, you can kind of add it every night or every second night. It hasn't broken me out, it doesn't smell bad. I love it. Next up, another thing I've been loving. Strangely enough, I actually don't own many face sprays. I wanted to try this one. Again, I based it on the reviews. I was gonna get the aloe and lavender maybe or the aloe and cucumber, but this one had the best reviews. So this one is the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, herbs and rose water. I'm not a fan of all of Mario Badescu's products but this has been amazing. I know a lot of people use this as their final step or they use it throughout the day 
However, I've been doing a lot more research into trans epidermal water loss. And if you just put water on your skin, a lot of times your skin will dehydrate rather than hydrating with the water on top. You kind of have to lock in the moisture with like a serum, a moisturizer, an oil, more so a really good moisturizer. So I've been using this in between steps or just before I moisturize. Next up is something I am so picky with. It's often the final thing in my skincare routine, not including sunscreen and makeup, that stays on my skin and that is the most noticeable to me. So this moisturizer, the fact that I like it says a lot because yeah, I'm super picky. I bought this one again based off the reviews. I love the Glow Recipes Avocado Retin sleep on mask I think that is one of the best masks I've ever tried I'm really surprised I haven't included it in another video but yeah if you haven't tried that one I love that one obviously don't use it if you are pregnant or if you have really sensitive skin just be careful so obviously I loved that one so I wanted to look more into the brand and this one has had amazing reviews it's called the banana souffle moisture cream honestly like I'm never a person to like products because of the smell because I'm not really into fragrance. I'm on the fence. I'm not anti-fragrance, but I wouldn't buy a product because of the fragrance in terms of skincare. But I have to admit, like the fragrance on this makes it really enjoyable to use. It smells like artificial banana ice cream. Okay, next. This is a big box. I don't even know. Oh my gosh. Like this is what's wrong with me. I bought Calvin Klein socks. I don't even want to know how much this was. This was 30 bucks. Surely I got these on sale. Oh my gosh. I'm hoping because they're not even that nice. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Sarah? Get a grip. Great. I got blush Calvin Klein socks and these pretty pretty oh look I don't want to say they're ugly like Calvin Klein's great don't get me wrong like the hot pink and the tie-dye I think I was going through a skater phase where I like rode my skateboard once and I was like I'm gonna be a skater girl okay anyway the thing that I was excited about about this box is this roller I have owned this before but I broke both of mine so I bought a new one because I love using this on top of my sheet masks also I remember why I'm buying all these skin tools I do want to do a video comparing different skin tools and which ones I think are beneficial to buy, which one I think is the most important or the most beneficial. So if you guys want to see that video, then let me know. I'm talking all things like these rollers, the gua sha's, skin needling, the LED light masks, like all that kind of stuff. Oh no, what is this one? Oh my gosh, this is big. Can you understand now how patient I have been? Like I have had all of these boxes sitting up here were in my upstairs office and I haven't touched them. This is from End Clothing. Okay, one of my best friends of all time, Maddie. She is the co-owner of Studio Albus and she actually helped us design our house. A lot of you guys may know who I'm talking about. Yeah, I didn't even know about this brand or this company or this online store, but Mads was like, it's my favorite. What? Oh, okay. I remember buying a peach chopping board but this is really thick. I thought it would be really cute for my cooking videos and like especially sunny cooking videos because this is like our color scheme. We use a lot of earthy pinks and peaches. I like it and it's got these little sticky things on the bottom. It's just thick. Oh yeah, okay. They're plastic. <laughs> kind of good because I have a toddler. But okay, I bought these for Sunny because honestly every day I'm doing food photography or like food videos. And when I shoot the sunny food, I like to do it in obviously like an on-brand way. And I use really fun colors and make it quirky and fun. So I bought a bunch of different plates, not even really for use, just for content creation. So these are really cute. But yeah, they're plastic, which is cute for like a picnic set. But I believe they were kind of expensive. Like I'm pretty sure these were like 20 bucks each, which seems really expensive, right? For like plastic. Okay, don't know if that's lucky or unlucky for me. The receipt doesn't say the prices. I probably don't want to know. To be fair, it probably said it in the description and I was just like on this online shopping rampage that I didn't read it. That's something I would do. Ooh, but these ones are a beautiful ceramic. Now these ones, they are for Sunny. Honestly, they're for our house and for our dinner parties, which who knows if we'll ever have again because we're in lockdown. So I bought a two pack of these. I don't know if I actually ended up buying four. Yes, confirming. I bought four of the same plate because I don't have four matching plates 
in my house. Like they're all mismatched, which I really like. But when I have people over for dinner, sometimes I do want it to like match and be a vibe. I love these. I could honestly buy plates and kitchenware every day. Oh my goodness. Like you think this video is going to end and it just never does. This is like one of the last things I have, I swear. Wait there. ASMR. Not really. I don't know how I feel about this. I really loved it online, but I thought the background was lighter. I'll show you on the screen here where I'm thinking of putting this. I just thought our plinth area, yes, it's called a plinth plinth with a th on the end. I thought it needed a bit more character and a bit more uniqueness. And I love this brand. I think this is, is this Bonnie and Neil? Yeah, Bonnie and Neil. It has gold detailing here. As much as I wear gold and we have brushed gold hardware in the house, I'm not really a fan of gold fabric. I don't know. This is the first thing in the haul that I'm, and the Calvin Klein socks. <laughs> that I'm not totally in love with. We'll put it downstairs and we'll make a judgment call, but it's okay, I'm not obsessed with it. Um, oh, I forgot to open this one. This was from End Clothing as well. I got four different tumblers, again, really about Sunny, but also the house. Love them, they're really vintage. They actually remind me of my Nan. She had like a full windowsill of different glasses. So obviously I love these. I think they match really well with our house, but it was kind of in homage to her as well. Okay, no, I have to find the thing I'm most excited about. Okay, please, 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 please be in this one. There is no reason as to why I'm so excited about this. I think I've just seen them being used on TikTok so much that I just want to play with them. <gasps> Got my receipt. <gasps> I think this is them. 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 <laughs> I've never even heard of this brand. Ms. Ms. with a Z. Casa and Co. It is them. Tell me you haven't seen these on TikTok. Now I am a little bit paranoid about them because I was watching these on TikTok and the algorithm obviously knew I was loving these. And then I got all these TikToks of like these traumatizing things happening with them and like people clashing them together and it breaking on their face. These are glass. Like it feels like thin glass. Store the ice rollers in the refrigerator prior to use. Step two, glide from ear to chin. Like that, like how do you not bang them together? And yes, very weird that I bought the blue. You guys know I'm a pink girl all the time. I love pink, but I figured I have bought a lot of peach and pink lately that it was time to open my eyes with some blue and even getting a different color, it like makes me excited to use it. This was one thing I was way too excited to keep in the box. But on Insta story, I promised you guys I would include these in the video. Now these took a fair while to come in. I mean, I live in Australia. We're kind of far away from everyone. So everything kind of takes a while to come in, which is no one's fault except Australia's. These ones are from America. So they took a few weeks to come in, but they were really nice. They sent me a letter. So I don't know if they were delayed as well because they sent me a letter saying like, thanks for being patient. So maybe they were delayed as well. Anyway, so I think these are technically wrist weights. They're called Bala Bangles from the brand Bala. I'm not sure if other brands do this, but this is the first brand I've ever seen design ankle weights like this. I don't know if it's a good thing, but I like, I kind of love the Instagram algorithm and like the sponsored posts I get or like the ads I get on my Instagram feed. They're all my style. Like my algorithm is on point. I know that social media gets a lot of hate for like learning who you are and things like that, but I'm telling you, the advertisements that pop up on my feed, I'm like, I actually want you, like I actually need you. So I was a sucker and this was actually a sponsored like picture on my Instagram feed and I ended up going and buying them. They weren't cheap, especially when it like converted to Australian dollars and the shipping. But I mean like this is the stuff that I love using and I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these. Now I believe I got the bigger ones. I think these are one kilogram, two pounds and I mostly wear them on my ankles, but it's like a really soft Velcro that's not scratchy on the skin. So I've just been using them in my Pilates Pilates sessions, but aren't they cute? Like even just for like filming Pilates workouts and stuff, I thought they were really aesthetic and looked pretty. And I mean, my other ones are from Kmart, they're great, but they shift on your ankle cause you can't get them really tight and they kind of move around. So these ones you can get like really tight and they don't hurt. You can get them in a bunch of different colors. Like I said, this is totally unsponsored. It was a sponsored post on my feed, but I bought them. I gave in to the sponsored post. Okay, I've lost a bangle in the mix of unboxing and now I'm gonna have to go through everything. Actually, again, for the sake of being open and you guys truly realizing what I've done, what I have single-handedly 
done to myself and my bank account. I'm gonna, hey, that's you. Hello. The reason I'm sweating, like this is just exciting. But what am I doing with my life? And like clockwork, I don't know if you can hear that. That's a chainsaw. <laughs> Next door. I'm just gonna wait two minutes. Oh, he stopped. BRB, five minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget the White Fox 25% sale. I'll put all the info down here. It ends in a few days, so snap up what you want fast. This is a very unique video for my channel to make or like myself to make, but if you guys did enjoy it, then I'll be sure to make more of them. Like, will I? I don't honestly foresee me purchasing like this in the near future. If you like videos like this, I'm sure I can dabble. However, definitely let me know if you want me to film the video based around skincare tools, because I have been loving watching those kind of videos. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And make sure you subscribe because I upload new and exciting videos every single week. Now I get to go and clean all this up. Love that for me.